Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a survival show special today, focusing on two of the biggest games that have been bringing in the views for me. One maybe a little bit old, one more recent. Grounded update has gone live right now. As part of the celebrations to launch the Xbox One Series X and S, Grounded have launched their Koi update for everyone. It's been in test live for a couple of weeks now. We're going to go through them details. The other big news, of course, is Rust coming to console. And that's a long-standing saga I've been covering over the last two years. When are we going to see it on an Xbox or PlayStation? With them two games, it really shows the length and breadth of survival and what you can do. You can have a PvP, really full-on experience in Rust where you pretty much go out and kill each other, or you can have something a bit more family-friendly, exploration, surviving like Grounded. And that's what I do. I give you the news, I give you the guides that you guys need. So, we're going to start off with Rust, and then you can skip ahead to the Grounded info that you need. But... Gary Newman, the creator of Rust, put up a screenshot on his Xbox Live account. This is official, guys. It seems that with the launch of the S and the X, people have actually been able to download Rust on their consoles. Rust is coming, guys, and it may be coming very soon. Yes, I know, I've been taking the piss out of other YouTubers that have been saying that for five or six months, but it's actually maybe true this time. Now, they have said they were going to maybe thinking about not releasing it until next year. Gary tweeted in reply to a couple of tweets stating that they're doing their best to get it out this year, but because of COVID and stuff, they may just end up pushing it back. But you guys have been reaching out to me, showing me that you can indeed download Rust right now, all 3.5 GB of it, the closed beta. Unfortunately, you won't be able to play it though once you've downloaded it. Big shout out to Spud who sent me a bunch of stuff yesterday while I was streaming Assassin's Creed. Do go and check out my Assassin's Creed content, guys. Would really appreciate it. Uh, and he showed me that he was, in fact, downloading the Rust. Obviously, it's a bit blurry because I've got it on full screen on Twitter, but he did manage to download it. And then some of you other guys have been telling me you've been able to download it on your Xbox Series S as well. Maybe it's just a glitch. Maybe it isn't meant to happen. Obviously, it doesn't let you play it. Whenever Spud tried to go into it after he downloaded it, it said he didn't own the game. But it does, to me, show that things are functioning more. And, of course, now Gary's put up that screenshot, the first bit of news properly about the actual console launch of Rust for ages. I do think it's a good sign. It's coming up to a year since Rust was officially properly announced with the Game Awards last year, back in November, the very beginning of December. So it wouldn't surprise me if they did actually try and get the beta up and running in time for that. That is speculation. The whole saga is a bit too long, but to say that they did have what was going on with the updates for the beta version on Xbox and PlayStation is come to PlayStation beta as well. And it did show that they were making lots of progress. Then about four and a half months ago, they decided to not update their little website with info about the Xbox version. Maybe it was getting too much heat from YouTubers that were clickbaiting and using it every day to make videos about the same old boring rubbish, even though there wasn't really any actual proper news hence why you guys might be surprised i'm covering it now but i've actually covered rust over two years now like the minute we heard any news about it i covered all the interviews gary gave 18 months ago two years ago about the fact that it could still be coming to console it originally got announced for consoles back in 2016 so to my mind, they took it off. They didn't want to get up overhyped or anything. It's been made by Double Eleven, the guys that made Minecraft Dungeons. They're in charge of the port team for this one. And so I'm looking forward to it massively. It's going to be one of the biggest survival games going. Obviously, it is much very different to Grounded. So let's cover that now. So the Koi Fish Pond update is now finally live for everyone, obviously on Xbox and PC. There's been test servers running on this for a few weeks now. Obsidian have been trying to update Grounded every single month. Remember, it's only early access. It's open world co-op exploration game where you are tiny, running around a backyard with loads of bugs and now big, huge fish to fight. It's a good load of fun. I've already done a guide for it. Nothing's really changed too much. They've updated a few visuals, but it does look like they've more or less kept the same premise. You'll be exploring an underwater lab, trying to avoid a dangerous koi fish while you get yourself some brand new armor and weapons. So do go and check out the videos I've already done on it. It'll give you the rundown and show you everything you need to know. And I may do a fresh one, as I do think maybe there's just a couple of new bits added, like they've changed where you can sleep inside the laboratory, and they've also added a few more consumables. It's been a good time for Grounded. I had millions of players pick up the game when it launched. 
Millions have been playing it on the Games Pass, overall huge success, but it has had a lot of problems with updates, being broken, maybe deleting people's worlds and saves, and just not being ready. It does seem like this very small team with only 14, 15 people are really struggling to maybe get the game stable. Hence why the water update needed more testing, and they brought out test servers for Xbox Live users. You had to download it via the Xbox Insider app. But even that had massive issues. Apparently when people downloaded it on the Xbox, when you tried going back to the old version, it was deleting everyone's worlds. And that's not what a test server is meant to do. It's meant to keep everything separate from the main game. Anyhow, that was a good few weeks ago. They've been updating it since. They got it stable last week, and now the update's available for everyone. So you don't need a test server. If you actually refresh Grounded right now, you'll be able to download the water update, check out all the content, which I leaked very, very first months and months ago when Grounded first came out. It's a load of fun. Does it add enough to the game? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I still managed to rattle through this content in the space of a couple of hours. But for new players, I'd say there's at least six or seven hours of content now if you're completely brand new to the game. Otherwise, returning veteran players, you may go for it just a little bit too speedily like I did. But either way, brand new armors. You've got brand new weapons like the bone knife. They've increased the speed of the zip lines as you saw there. You can now press L3 on the left stick and you'll zip along a little quicker. I've been saying that for ages to add that. They've also added some new consumable item and they've also added three brand new perks. So lots of content to go and try it out. Give it a whirl right now. It's available, as you can see, for everyone's Steam and Xbox. And that's pretty much it for a kind of emergency survival show. I know some of you guys have been wondering what's going on, why I've not been doing more regular videos about some of the survival games. Well, I have been really deep into Assassin's Creed, and I am trying to focus a little bit more on other games, not just survival. I've got big things coming up with Immortals Phoenix Rising. I really enjoyed Watch Dogs London Legion, although that did end up getting a little bit repetitive. Assassin's Creed is absolutely amazing. I'm not shifting completely away from survival, but I do want to make Make sure that I can add more games that I'm really really looking forward to just like these so do go and check out my Assassin's Creed content Assassin's Creed Valhalla is fantastic but for you survival fans don't worry I've got your back my Xbox Series X has arrived I've also got an S2 I'm going to be doing a lot of testing I did want to stream tonight showing off all of the survival games their improvements and stuff like Ark, Conan Exiles, Seven Days to Die, Stranded Deep, uh, day Z, just see how it all runs on an Xbox Series X and the S, but my Series X ended up arriving much later than I wanted it to. So I'm going to push that forward till tomorrow. We're going to spend a good chunk of time going through all the games. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the next gen updates for some of them and which ones don't have any updates, and generally just give you my impressions or whether or not it will make a decision for you about buying a new console just to improve your survival content, your survival games. That might seem mad, but I know lots of you rat bags, you would absolutely put hundreds into a new console if it could improve Arc completely, like the developers have been saying this update will. So I'm going to check it all out for you. We'll be doing that live stream tomorrow. Also, a little heads up, I will be trying out Planet Coaster and Unturned is coming to the PlayStation 4. I've got code for it. I may be giving that out in a live stream on the 12th. So big stuff happening this week with Survival and my channel. Please show the support. Go and try out the Assassin's Creed content. Even if you're not going to be buying the game, go and swing me a like and a view. It all helps me do a little bit more of what I enjoy and not just survival. I do love survival, but man, I've been covering it for five years. I need to be able to play some other games, and I just really want to be able to do some guides and showcase to you some of the other stuff that's out there. So yeah, let me know if you're picking up Assassin's Creed and what you think about the game. Until next time, Ratbags, a proper survival show will be here this Friday with everything you need to know. I'll see you lot later.